Hi, welcome you all to the next session and the last session of macroeconomics that is SEM3. In this session, I will be dealing with the importance of that means question bank for your semester 3. Clear to it? And while uploading the video, I will be sharing one link on the description box that are that is the link what is being shared by the university exam for your mcqs type question today in this session i will be dealing with the importance with respect to short answers as well as with respect to long answers and the description link will be the link for your mcqs which is forwarded by university clear to it okay as you all know we have four chapters in macroeconomics sem3 that is introduction to macroeconomics first second one is national income second third one is theory of output and employment and fourth one is save consumption saving and investment clear to it okay let's move further with the first chapter that is first chapter of uh, importance of your first chapter please take the note of that okay first chapter first question define macroeconomics explain the scopes and limitation of macroeconomics this is long answer and it is mostly asked in the exam and have the highest weightage of it define macroeconomics explain the scope and limitations of macroeconomics second one define macroeconomics explain the importance that means significance and limitation of macroeconomics define macroeconomics explain the scope and limitation second one is define macroeconomics explain the significant and limitation of macroeconomics third one is Defined macroeconomics, explain the nature and significance of macroeconomics. First question may scope and limitation hai. Second question may significant that is importance and limitation hai. Third question may mm -hmm. nature and significant hai. Clear to it? Okay. Then difference between macroeconomics and microeconomics. Next one, difference between macroeconomics and microeconomics. In short, you need to learn the scope difference then limitation significance from first chapter from second chapter you have to study the important question that is explain the difficulties in measuring national income national income measure karte work kaun se kaun se difficulties hai which an economy goes through or faces through that one is the one one question next question is the difficulty again Next one is the importance of national income and circular flow of national income. Circular flow of national income. Then we have difficulties in measuring national income. Then we have importance of national income. From this chapter, the three questions are very important. Third one is the theory of output and employment. From this session or from this chapter, we have importance questions like explain the Keynes theory of employment in detail Keynes ki theory jo hai wo employment ki wo detail mein padna hai then we have principle of effective demand then we have criticism on classical employment theory three important questions from this session again first one is law explain the Keynes theory of employment then criticism to the classical employment theory then we have principle of effective demand these are all three important questions next fourth chapter that is the biggest chapter and the most important chapter according to this sem that is consumption saving and investment in this chapter the three important concepts of macroeconomics is included into it that is consumption second one is in saving and third one is investment the biggest chapter of this sem the important question for this are important question for this is um, explain um, okay what is in uh, first one is 
what is investment multiplier explain the propagand propagation of income process with the help of multiplier next one the important question here is um uh, just a minute just give me two minutes okay keynes law of consumption keynes law of consumption then the other important question is define saving function explain the determinants of saving function explain the relationship between consumption function and saving function explain the relationship between marginal propensity to consume and uh, average propensity to save next we have is explain the concept of acceleration explain the functioning of acceleration with the help of example define investment explain the different types of investment clear to it these are all long answers as well as short answers included into it which are most likely to be asked by the university exam next one more important question that is psychological law of consumption usi ko keynes law of consumption bhi bola gaya hai clear to it okay chalo let's move further that me let's move further with the concepts okay okay uh now this year you will not have your exams with respect to uh, theory papers wherein theory papers was of 70 marks and 30 marks was internal in the hands of your teachers for the internal assignments but this time you will have 70 marks objective type questions which will be asked by the university examination and that will be the link will be sent on your email id with respect to the exams you have to log in to the link with your prn number and otp is been sent on your email id registered email id from that uh, log in prn and the otp what is been sent to you from sppu that is savitri bai phule university pune university the login id will be your prn number and the four digit number the otp will be your password for that log in answer the question and wait till your 60 minutes are not over because the question paper does not get submitted until and unless you complete your timing for that clear to it please go through it study it with respect to objective also with respect to conceptual things also as i have uh, uploaded lots of videos on your subject matters important videos to clear to it i'll be in the description i will be sharing one link that link is been forwarded from pune university for credit pattern sem 3 macro economics students so please go through that once you click on that link the link will open and there will be your subjects choose macro economics in macro economics there is a classification chapter wise the details classification are there please check the chapter which your textbook contains of only download that mcqs and study for your exam clear to it okay thank you all thank you be at home be safe thank you all